Hello, and in this video, we're going to be creating ISO 2 using Onshape. Uh, so we have ISO 2 here. Uh, in our browser, I'm open to Onshape. Again, uh, I'm in my 20 ISO folder. I got ISO 1 in there since we made that last time. And now we're going to create ISO 2. So again, I go to Create, and I just hit Document, and I want to name this one ISO 2. And hit Enter. Uh, so that gives us ISO 2. Uh, and to get going on this, I'm just going to start by sketching out a box and we'll do a subtractive method again. Uh, so we'll make the overall cube and then cut out the shape from the top down. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to start from the front again. I'm going to hit sketch and I'm going to click on that front. I'm going to change my view so I'm looking at the front. Uh, again, it's just making a box. So if we look back and we count. We can count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 down, and 1, 2, 3, 4 tall. Uh, so we create a box 8 long by 4 tall. So I hit on my corner rectangle, I start at the origin, and I just click to make my box, and then I can adjust the size by first it cells bottom, so I type 8, I hit enter, and then the height we said was 4 and enter. Uh, we can hit our green check. If you want to see it better, you can zoom out, uh, and we can hit the corner. Uh, then we want to make it a box by hitting the extrude button. Again, extrude or shift E. I just click on extrude. Then I have to tell it what shape, and I, the only option is that rectangle. And then we have to see how deep or how wide to make it. So then we come back and we count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we come back to our browser, and we just change that depth to 6, and hit enter. And it previews, and to accept, we just hit the green check. Now we have to do this cutout shape. Uh, so if we look on the top, we can see it cuts out from the top down would be the easiest way to draw that in. So it comes down two boxes, so we just have to draw that shape, and then remove a depth of 2. Uh, so I'm going to start in this top right corner and work my way around. So we go in three on this side, on this side, and once we get over here, we have a distance of one, two, three, four, five, and then on this side, we have a distance of three to deal with. Uh, so hopefully we can remember those as we work around. If not, we can look back. So we hit sketch. This time we want the sketch on the top, so I click on that top plane, and I'm going to hit the top to look, adjust my view. Again, I'm just going to use the line tool and start, start in that top corner when I have that box in the corner. And we said we go over three, so I just click, make sure I'm on the line. You see that T shape indicator, and we type in our distance of three, and then hit enter. Uh, then we come down to the bottom. We just want to make sure it's on the line. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so you can see. Again, it makes that uh, constraint indicator, and then I can click. And I'm not going to do a distance on that one. I will constrain that here in a second. Uh, then we want to go over a set distance. So we click on the line when it shows the indicator. And we type in a number of 5. So we counted that earlier and it was 5. Uh, then we want to go up to this far line. Again, we want to get the constraint and so we're on the line. And we're just going to click and place it there. We're not going to type in a distance for that one. We did not calculate what that distance is. Uh, then we go to the top corner to close out our shape, and we type that in as a value of 3. Uh, so that locks our item into place. It locks our values. Uh, if you want to check and dimension an item from an edge, we can use this dimension tool for this bot. So if we look back on this shape, we can see it's 1 from this far edge, from this corner to the edge, and we can set that distance to make sure everything's in the right location. So we go here, we click on the dot, then we click on the line, we come down, and we have to click and change that to a 1 and enter. And that sets all our lines into the proper location that constrains everything to the right location. Uh, so we have everything constrained up, and now all we have to do is our extrude cut. So we hit our green check to finish our sketch, and then hit the extrude button. We change it to a remove. We click inside the portion we want to cut out, and we change the depth if we look back at our image to 2. I'll hit enter, and then I'll change my view just so it's easy for us to see, and I'll put it more on our ISO view. And when we hit our green check, you can see it cuts it out. And that gives us ISO 2. If we compare back, it gives us ISO 2 there. 
so hopefully this helps in your creation of ISO 2. Uh, while I'm here, I'm also going to rename it to ISO 2 just so it's easier to find later on. So I'm going to name it ISO 2, and I'm also going to rename my part as ISO 2. So I'm just going to rename and type in ISO 2. And that's it for ISO 2. Hopefully this helps. Good luck in your creation of ISO 2.